Mr. Borrell, we are talking about the recent leaks. The recent leaks that reveal that Chinese ambassadors and high-ranking government officials have been straight up lying to us over the mass cultural genocide that China commits. Yesterday, I have been fortunate enough to meet with Mr. Ilham Toti's daughter, Yever. But it could not have been a meeting with Mr. Ilham Toti himself because he has been locked up in a concentration camp and we haven't heard about his whereabouts or well-being for two years. Yeva doesn't oppose China. I don't oppose China. She just wants her family to be safe and together. At the same time, this genocide is taking place. In my country, the richest man, Peter Kellner, has been manipulating the Czech media image of China to look more business positive. Business. Excuse me? If I made this speech in China, me and my family would also end up in a goddamn concentration camp. Colleagues, we Europeans have the power to stand up again, uh, for fundamental rights against China's digital dictatorship. Let's start with targeting economic sanctions. Mr. Borrell, act.